let me show you something equals Ljubljana dot population did you see that <laughs> And now let's go equals this dot latitude. There you go. Obviously Zagreb is not on the map, but otherwise brilliant. So if this piqued your interest and it should, this video is about one of my favorite things that happened in Excel in recent years. And that is the new data types in Excel. I do believe these have the potential to be the biggest game changers in Excel, even bigger than the dynamic arrays, because the, the options are just limitless. But let's go step by step. So this is video one of the new data types series. It will only consist of two videos. Now, the first one will be the introduction, so I'll show you what the new data types are, how to use them, and then I'll kind of start with the story of imagine if, and then part two will actually fill you in on where that imagination has already taken Microsoft, uh, but we'll, we'll still leave some things open, and there are, there's a plethora of, you know, avenues to kind of investigate where this could go and it could be just brilliant but it already is as it stands so did you see how i said ljubljana and then just went dot population so the interesting thing about the new data types is well you can find them on data and then shockingly data types so these are the data types that you can use now Funny enough, when you will go to this, you will only see two data types, and that is geography and stocks. Those are the ones that you will see. Now, depending on your version, you could also see organizational data types. But as you can see in my version of Excel, there are a lot more data types coming, right? And some are already built into other versions of Excel. Um, they just not don't look or actually they're just never gathered in this way not up till now but they will be someday so what the, these data types actually do well the idea is you can have a single cell which has a single value this one this one cell has the value of Ljubljana so the capital city of Slovenia where I'm from and now I can go well now show me the country or region that this belongs to. And there you go. And now show me the abbreviation of that city, if there is one. And obviously there are not many, there are not many of those. And then show me, let's go with the currency code for that country. Right, isn't that just awesome? Because what's happening here is you have a single cell, but it's acting as if it has multiple VLOOKUP tables behind it, right? So this cell knows a lot more than just a single value that it's displaying. And the way you can utilize that is saying, okay, I want to filter these cities. Or what do I want to filter by? Well. Originally, of course, you can filter by the name that you see, but then you can also say, I actually want to filter by the country or region. And then you can say, well, just give me Slovenia. Okay. And these are the cities that are in Slovenia. Right? And what I did there should shock you because I just filtered by something that's not even present in this table and yet it's contained within the values or the data type of city or geography that has types of country and stuff like that right 
Okay, now let me show you some other ones. Or actually, let me show you this. If I went, let's say I went population here, and then I also went country region, right? Now look what happens if I add something. So if I add Berlin, there it is. If I add New York, there it is, right? Just brilliance, brilliance. Okay, now let me add something else. Let me go like this. Let me add a dollar to Euro. Right, nothing fancy there, just text. But now I'll say, well, that's actually a data type. And if you wanna, if you wanna do the same thing, you should choose stocks. I'm gonna choose currencies, but you should choose stocks. And now I can say, well, give me the price of this, and there it is. And now I have the conversion rate for those two currencies as a formula in this cell. Now there are a lot of questions we could build upon here, like where is that data coming from and stuff like that. Um, and and it would be interesting to follow up on that, right? Because it's mostly Bing, Wikipedia and stuff like that. But let me just show you something else, because this is where this is where the magic happens. This is where you can actually start to think, oh, 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 something like that. So let's go Albert Einstein. Right? And now I say, well, that is a person. Right? And now I go, okay, so for Albert Einstein, show me the place of birth. And once I do that, something amazing happens. I get the city that he was born in, but because that is also a data type, I can now go choose the city population of the city that Albert Einstein was born in. Or I could go even deeper than that. I could say, okay, now show me no notable people born in this city. And look at that. It created a whole list. So you can see the dynamic ranges are actually talking to this. And now I could just go, oh, well, that's interesting. Now give me the images of all these people right like this oh that's sad it, it doesn't have all of them but still you can see let me try to make that better and you should be you know you should be not just because i just now brought images into cells but also I started with Albert Einstein, went to his place of birth, which is also a data type, which gave me notable people that are born there, which are in themselves a data type. And now I have their pictures. And now I could go back to this one and I could say, okay, now, why don't you show me the country or region that this belongs to, right? And I get Germany, but here's an interesting thing. Germany, again, is, a geography data type that I can now expand to give me the capital city. And now I'm about three data types away from Albert Einstein, although I did return to him in, in the middle. Do you see how it all connects and how in the end, if you think about it, this cell contains so much data, it's, you know, because you have step by step by step. It's like, what was that movie? How many steps or how many people does it take for you to be connected to anyone on, on earth? Uh, it's kind of like that. How many data types do you need to actually get any piece of data that you want from any other piece of data that you want? And this truly is a game changer. Now, the level to which this is a game changer, you can kind of see over here as to how many data types are coming. Not just people, music, plants, space or astronomy. And then you got yoga. You've got foods, which is, if you think about it, brilliant. If you want to lose weight, 
you're going on a diet, you just list your foods that you're eating for that day and there's your calorie count. You got movies, you got medical, you got anatomy, you know, chemistry. This is brilliant. And there's another thing that you should note. Whereas these are kind of the same as these in a sense, they will be deriving data from, you know, somewhere on the internet. Here's what you should really be thinking about. And here's what part two of the new data type series will be about. What if I could create my own? Right? Because that's where this becomes amazing. If your company could say, we have data types, we have products, we have so your HR department could say, we have data types, we have employee. And then anyone in your HR could just write the name of the employee, choose the data type, and there would be their, you know, last contract, their uh, uh, salary or whatever you would want to derive from that. Or if you just write an SKU and say, well, now I want to know what's the name of the product, what's the category of the product, what are the measurements of the product, how much do we have on stock, how much did we sell last quarter. And that could all be derived from that single SKU if company could have their own. And there are actually two ways that you can create your own even today. Now, one you actually saw is this organizational thing right here. And the other is through Power Query. And that's what part two of this series will be about. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to create the new data types, how to create your own data types with Power Query, and then how to create them through using Power BI. That one should just blow your mind. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. from Ohm, notable persons that were born in Ohm. And that's interesting.